Off to Theta. God, we've been through so much. Why are we going to Theta again? To look for the... The Dunbat? The car that takes us to the underground or something? The Abyss? Jesus. Thank God, this still works. It's pitch black. Hi, well... I don't know if we're getting there, but I hope so. to other people when they talk because that's how conversations work. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. Mm. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Oh, after that very philosophical question there. I feel like there's so many things spinning inside my head right now, I'm not even sure where to start with. But since they mentioned the wow at the end there, and Catherine said, the wow doesn't think with purpose, you know, it's just a machine. What about us? What makes us that different? We're a brain scan, an anomaly tool, and a diving suit, so... <laughs> I'm not surprised that the mind- like, I can totally get behind the idea that the mind is helping us cope with this though, cause the mind is an amazing thing. It always tries to protect you from hurt. Do you hear me speaking? <laughs> of course you do. I wanted to let you know that I know. You didn't blindly pick me out of the herd. The slow waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. It's a beautiful thing. And I won't be selfish. I will help. Tuck them in. Watch them sleep. They too will find peace within the universe of the WoW. How did Akers come about to be like this? Because he's like this cult member of WoW now, although Catherine claims that WoW is not really... He's not conscious, or it's not conscious of being a cult leader or anything like that. But first of all, it's like... The WoW is a... 
electronics-based computer robot-y thing. But the fact that like, Acre seems infected with it, like a fleshy, organic human, being infected with the thoughts of a computerized metal thingy. My brain hurts. Okay, so we know that Acres is, uh, or has been here. And we are at Theta. Uh, did he say something about wanting to put people to sleep? That doesn't sound good. No. I'm totally not looking the way they want me to look in. <laughs> Alright. You know, this would be really pretty. If not for the fact that killer robots are trying to kill us and all. It's like an underwater... It's like an aquarium. Without... Well, there are fish. There are fish. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the nice things around here. What does that light mean? There's a message here? Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab shirt and a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. So we have at least three people here. Strasky, Alvaro, and Wen. Uh... Yeah, Komorebi is still at Delta, her corpse. Wait, they mentioned structure shrapnel? Is that how Acres got quote-unquote infected? Because I'm sort of assuming, um, I'm working off the assumption that Acres got infected by like a virus-like thing, but one of the mind. I don't really know how that works, but, you know. Something about not touching structure gel? Oh. The fish keep swimming. Not knowing what horrors are happening under the water here. Is this a train track? Is there stuff over there? No. Oh, the bigger problem right now is that, um... Remember the email we saw in that control room? They never sent it, so people at Theta right now? They're bringing in Acres, but they have no clue that Acres has gone insane. And Acres is unconscious right now. Hmm. And hurt. This thing on? Can everyone Stormire. hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. What? For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Whoa, they sound pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. People killing themselves? Sarang, that was one of the guys in the interviews, right? Eternity among the stars. Oh, these are the graves! Oh, they had makeshift graves down here. They don't even have names, because I guess they don't have engraving technology <laughs> down here. It's under the water, man. Oh, wait. Then it's not just Mark, then. Like, a whole bunch of people killed themselves. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five. At the minimum, five. Oh, that doesn't seem good. I just want to look around here. Seems like there's some lights here. Although I feel like they want me to go up to the building, definitely. So, uh, 
Who is this? Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it, but you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You could just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. Ouch. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. No. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. Does that mean that this is Catherine's grave then? It's somebody's body in here for sure. I just don't know if it's, uh, what is it, Lindwall or Catherine's. Catherine! That's the real Catherine! Oh, we don't know too much about the AI one, but her personality was completely different. What we've seen of it from this one. This one is scared, kind of insecure. Are they just talking about the ARC project or something else? Because I thought by now, the art project was already underway, but here they were- t I don't know, maybe Catherine was just unsure of herself around here? Mm. Speaking of AI Catherine, there's something pretty- Aside from the fact that she's been so accepting of her whole existence so far, is that, um... She's actually experiencing something very, very strange right now, isn't she? When she was in that... The initial robot body. Okay, sure, that's Catherine. But then... The moment she was transported to the um, Omni tool, for her, there was no gap in between. For us, we had to take the chip out of her, put it in the Omni tool, but it was completely continuous. And that was not the only time that happened, too, right? Whenever we take the Omni tool out of the, um, the square shaped hole, then she stops talking. But when we put her back in again, she's there. And for her, no time has passed. She's kind of like, oh, what? Oh, okay, we're we're in Delta now, which I feel like is a very weird way to live, but she's totally okay with it. I want to say she's drifting in and out of existence by being that way, but that's not really true at all, is it? Because, yeah, to her, it's continuous, so there's no drifting in and out here. I only observe it as that because that's what I see. Oh, there's more corpses here. Dude, how many people killed themselves? Does that mean that Catherine killed herself? Getting a bit freaked out by the red light over there. Um, I guess there's no log around here. Oh. I thought that was a grave again. So why- why would they wanna- I don't- <laughs> I got no clue why they're killing themselves. Is it because there's two copies and they're killing one off? Oh, where are we going now? Okay, that's a Zeppelin. That's a good anchor for me to have. It's not possible for me to walk all the way back to Theta, is it? <laughs> Here's another one. Oh my god. It seems like people working on the project. But killing yourselves is definitely not a requirement because Strawmeyer was like, people, stop killing yourselves. But a portion of the people participating in the project for some reason has decided that that's the thing they should be doing. Okay, maybe I should walk a little faster here. What is this? Shuttle station, Theta? It wants to open, but it can't. Fair enough. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's too much 
back here. Random cargo. You know, I like the coral. I like the air bubbles we're seeing right now. I like the lights. Feeling good, feeling safe. For the time being. <laughs> okay, we're back to the, the big building here. Theta. Okay, this person knows about the Ark project. Here is the Ark, right? Hello? Who is that? Ark? No, we haven't met before. Is this the Ark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. He didn't answer. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. That was one of the people in the interview, right? How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living skin in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Yeah, okay, so they're killing themselves because... Because from a one one timeline linearity, that sort of makes sense, right? I don't understand. Uh, yeah, by the way, does this look like the Ark to you? <laughs> well, it could be worse. It's just the ocean. Is this what it's supposed to look like? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmire when someone killed themselves. Mm. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. She knows enough to know what's going on, but she can't figure out that the project went wrong. Did they ever plan on... I expected something different. Yeah. Were, what were the plans originally? Were they all supposed to occupy robot bodies like this? Because I would have assumed Where that... Is everyone? Oh. I'm not the only one who got scanned. Yeah, I just realized it might be because, you know, humanity is kind of doing not so hard right now with the comet thing. But if they had all the time in the world, then maybe they would plan out human-looking... Robot bodies instead of this obviously. Actually, why are you out here anyway? Shouldn't you be in the Ark? Like the. It's different though. The vessel? For the Ark? Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This. This is. Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? Oh. I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. Yeah. Is it alright if I just stay here until the end of time with you, Robin? I would be okay with that. We can keep each other entertained. Maybe this is paradise. Yeah. Yeah, there's no monsters here. We can look at fish together and... <laughs> Is this what being saved is like? Like, as a I'm human? As a human, I'm- Okay, earlier when she was saying, you know, you don't want your copy to survive yourself, but she was saying that from the standpoint of the brain scan. But in my head, I'm like, uh, excuse me, the brain scan is the copy, and the human is a real one. But... That's not true, is it? We don't really- 
If you think about it in terms of a timeline, it's like at the point when you get scanned, it splits off into two. And supposedly, so far, of what we know, neither one is more valid than the other. Although, as a human, as a fleshy human, I, <laughs> I strongly favor having a body, and I consider that to be more legitimate than a brain scan. But, uh, you know, maybe if I was a brain scan. In fact, if I was a brain scan, then that's not what I would think. The idea of killing yourself, like, the human... Okay, you go in for a brain scan, and then you... The flesh one, the flesh person kills themselves. Would they really? Because wouldn't they be like, I don't want to die? Would they just be like, oh, well... My brain scan is doing good now, so I'm gonna kill myself. Both of them, neither is more valid than the other. So why should why should the human one have to kill themselves? Well, I guess the one in the Ark is the more valid one, just cause that one can actually live. The crazy thing is that people actually did it. Like, maybe I'm just so afraid of dying, but... Are these people not afraid of death? Is living on in some virtual world as a brain scan really all that... Is it worth all the hype? This has gotta be Theta. I can figure this out. This is a huge door. Oh. Damn, look how rusty it is. Can't pull it. Oh. Do I wanna... Still doesn't work. Come. Okay. Oh, I can't really do much here. Oh! There we go. I didn't even press open yet. Oh, I'm just thinking about how heavy duty this door is and it could probably block out a lot of monsters and aliens and bad things, but not if you carry one inside and let them in yourself. And I'm talking about acres. Are we done with the outside? I think so. Robin? Oh. Is there anything we can do for her? Oh! She said she feels fine. It's not like Amy or Carl, she's not in any pain or anything. And with Amy and Carl, I was reading the comments that you guys left about those ones before, and apparently the choices that you can make there can be interpreted as keeping them alive but at a lower quality of life, or killing them outright. And I kept both of them alive, but I don't think I really kept them alive with the idea that I was... Uh, how do I say it? Like, because both of them kept asking me, go look for help, go find Masters of Holland. So in my mind, I was like, okay, well, I gotta keep them alive for now so that they can come back later. So that I can come back later and save them. But the problem is, we never go back later, and I, I don't think we're ever going back. So yeah, that's pretty much why I decide on leaving them there most of the time. And I guess I'll do the same thing for Robin here. She's not actually in any pain, but if we think about it, it is quite a ethical dilemma because if we leave her here, there is a pretty high chance that we are literally leaving her here for all of eternity until the power goes out. We could just stay outside with Robin the whole time. I'm okay with that. Oh, does that work? Still? Here it goes.
The Dunbat. Oh. Oh, is it? Okay. Holy. Oh, well, it's nice and lit in here. Ooh. I don't like the sound of that. The emergency sounds. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. She doesn't know yet. Guess we'll have a look around. But that gooey crap, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Wow. Do they want us to break this? That works. Okay, so we got like a creepy room in here. What else is in the main area? Goop. No bodies yet, but a lot of that goopy crap. Okay. Probably we'll wait a little bit before swiping. Yeah, warning, the floor is wet. This is probably the most accurate sign that they've had here. <laughs> All the other signs are... They're a little bit off. Lab. Okay. There's a hangar over there and there's a lab here. Loading platform. Yeah, this is where they accept the cargo, right? So they would have... Loading platforms for stuff like that? Sure. Oh no. You just know. You just know, just looking at this, you know. The butthole guy is here. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, probably before we swipe, we should go into. We should try the, the room here. Nothing scary is here, right? What if Akers is still alive? He can't be, right? Um, yeah, I haven't been paying attention to the dates, but how long ago did they find out that the... Like, the comet hit in January, and it's currently... Like, I would assume it's not too many years into the future, maybe a few months? Okay, thank God the washroom is... Closed. Just don't turn off the lights, okay? I'm good. As long as you don't do that. You know, I'm thinking about the lockers now. Remember that one locker at the place where we found the eyeballs? Maybe inside the locker was the corpse of the person who lost eyeballs. There's nobody here. Yeah. So Pathos 2 is in the North Atlantic Ocean. Okay. I guess maybe politically or like geographically, I wonder what jurisdiction that would be under. Judging by all the Chinese signs, it's not anywhere near China though. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that's... That's a really old looking webcam. Hmm. They have their own branded computers. Okay, no. Where are the people? There's nobody. Nobody's been here. Squeeze me. Oh, I definitely need a stress ball right about now. The computer is still on. I think these are drawers, but we can't pull them out. Maybe they're computer stuff. Hmm. There's a machine hanger over there. 
Uh... I mean... Sure? We're here? We're here! Okay, great! Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the dumb bat. Yeah. We sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. <laughs> I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. But why? Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. I suppose. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Look at the goop. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Lord. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Uh, do we want to find someone who can tell us that? We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Are you gonna get mad at me again? Find someone who knows the security cipher. Okay. Uh, there was an Omni tool swipe in the hangar. I guess we can't. We can't pick her up again, so we can't go there yet. Okay. Find someone. So we're expecting someone alive this time. Look at the interior of the Dumbat, though. It's full of that structure gel stuff. Do we even trust it anymore at that point? Oh yeah. Look at those status graphs. It's just his numbers that there's no meaning. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Oh, somehow I had it off. Touch. It says touch here. So it's touch screen. Oh. Well, that would have been nice to know earlier. That's still not working, which I am still thankful for. The other rooms are probably okay now. Yeah, not that one over there, because that one needs an Omni tool. Okay. What is this? Living quarters. Okay, yeah, sounds like a perfectly reasonable place to find people. Dead or alive. Oh, what? Catherine? I forgot if I talked about that already, but it says voice down here, but like that one just says not, so <laughs> that makes no sense. What happened to all the people? This place is deserted. So funny. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Do we wanna? I don't want the lights to turn off, so let's forego it for now. We can do it when we leave. It's not meant to be like this, right? Like, it feels like I'm looking at the rock. The rock that this cave is made of. Friction again. WoW is doing some shady stuff here. Or acres. And or acres. Where the hell did they all go? Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. Uh... Are you sure people are alive? Haven't they seen all the corpses we've seen so far? 
What reason is there to believe that anyone's still alive? Okay, storage room. Crafting room, sure. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. So what are they supposed to do once they get the Ark going anyway? The human copies. Ooh, this doesn't look... We haven't seen that for a long time. Why is it like that? Okay. 